JQ Crafty. Welcome to a Confessions of a Paper Rack Cut Files Design Team Layout Plus Day Nine of Scrap Timber. So today's um sketch you should have seen right away, and I'll have it up in the corner when we're doing our process video. And the prompt is stickers. So first, I'm going to show you. I have grabbed my sticker book that is a one canoe to two sticker book. I think it was like. Um, they put one out after this one. I don't, this one was 2017. I feel like they put out another one, but this one went with, I want to say Willow. I don't remember what collections this one with, but anyway, there's some nice, um, stickers in here that I thought would go with what I have left of this paper issues kit that I am doing. Um, using this beautiful cut file for confessions of a paper addict. I'm actually using two cut files. So the first cut file is the freebie for the month. I thought I would play with it. I had an oops and I cut it um, out of this pattern paper and um, something got stuck on my machine. So I just kept the two florals. I'm gonna cut this one down actually. I kept the two edges of the florals that still worked. Um, and then I was going to, and then I cut it out of white or I ran out of room. I don't remember what happened, but something something happened and I couldn't do it out of this pattern anymore. Um, I think my blade got stuck, honestly. I'm gonna trim this down, hold on, sorry. So I have two remnant uh, flowers from it. And then I cut it out in white. I have this beautiful picture of my niece. Um, she was trying on the flower girl outfit that she was in a wedding in 2019. And so this was her trying it on before they got it fitted. They had just gotten it in the mail. Um, so she tried it on. She's just, she's just gorgeous. So I was going to use this with that sketch. And then I cut out, this is um, a cloud cut file from... Confessions of a Paper Medic. Virginia had a class, um, a rainbow class. So if you want this cut file, you have to purchase the class. It is in her shop, in her Etsy shop. I will have the class and the cut file. Well, I'll have the class linked below. So if you want to get this cut file, this cloud cut file, and there's a bunch of other cut files in that class. Um, and then the Facebook group is where you can get this free cut file. And that's just for September. So you make, make sure you run and get it. But I thought I would do, instead of those circles in the sketch, I was gonna put more clouds. So I was gonna have this more centered and then do a cloud peeking in over there, a cloud peeking over there. So that is the plan. We'll see how I can execute it. Um, I don't know how, if I wanna back part of these, cause not a lot of these parts are gonna be showing. I don't know, I haven't figured, I haven't completely figured out what I wanted to do. But I have these Spring Farmhouse Simple Stories floral bits that I was gonna do some tucking in. I have this Echo Park I Love Spring um, Busy Bumblebees. I liked this yellow paper is what I wanted to do. I was gonna bring in some more of this um, color. Um, yeah, this is an April 2020 kit from Paper Issues. So there's some other pretty colors in here and papers. Not too much left. I only have a couple of 12 by 12s left. Uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to use some of it up. I've got some more ephemera bits in here. And then um, I thought Hello Sunshine would be a good, a good title. So we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Well, I'm... Work in progress. I haven't decided too if I want to maybe do some ink blending around so it highlights the the cut fire and all that. But yeah. Anyway, I've been rambling lately in these videos. It's probably because I'm just doing so much scrapbooking that I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants because I'm liking what I'm creating when I'm not overthinking it. But that's the plan. So let's get started. Um, so like I mentioned, that other cloud cut files from Creative Cuts 2 is what it's called, the Rainbow Edition. And like I said, I will have it linked down below in from Virginia's Etsy shop. So I'm taking this striped yellow paper and I'm going to trim it down because I'd like to frame it. Because like with the sketch that you see up there, I like how those elements go all the way to the edge. But then I want to frame it with another color to bring... Um, some colors together and it kind of happened as I went. I didn't really have this planned out um, from the beginning. So I just trimmed it down because I figured I would frame it 
and I just started um, spraying some of my shimmer spritz. Um, I did do some glimmer mists and I like a uh, gilded gold, I believe, is what I did. And then I did cotton candy, mango t and mango tango, and I think some Tuscan sun. Um, I just spritzed it around. Um, I think as well. Did I do some white acrylic ink? I'm not sure. I didn't gesso or anything. I figured with um, actually spraying it, it wasn't going to get too saturated. It warps a tiny bit, but nothing actually too crazy. So I just kind of did that on the diagonal because like with the sketch, the big circle on the bottom left, the smaller circle at the top right, and then we have our two photos and our little cluster in the middle. Those, all those things are going to turn into clouds. And I really love the way this layout this, this is one of my favorite layouts and I don't know I'm finding that some of my favorite layouts are the ones that take me multiple days because I look at it and I leave and I come back to it and so I don't know if that is why or if they just happen to be the ones that are just more involved and that's why they're my favorites but this one turns out really cute so I deal with it spritzing and so while that is drying I'm gonna go ahead and ink blood the edges of my cloud so I'm leaving the insides of um, the cut files there but I'm gonna add some ink blending to then bring in some color um, so what gave me this idea is I was liking the yellow but I wanted to bring some more color in, and I'm trying to use up some of my kits uh, some of these like mini kits as much as possible and I have a few like collections and kits that are my how to kill a kit with style for the month that I just want to try and finish up they're like almost done and this is one of them and so I was bringing in this gingham plaid in that green aqua color uh and I love the way that it looks so I decided to ink blend with speckled egg and bundled sage kind of together to give the clouds so they stand out a little bit more and to bring that color that's going to be on the outside inward so we're adding the pinks and the golden colors in the background on top of the yellows. And then this frame is this aqua bundled sage speckled egg color. So I want to bring that into the middle as well. And so that's what I did. I ink blended. And so now I'm arranging them how I'm going to want them. So that one cloud cut file, I cut it in half because I knew I was only going to use half on one part of the page and half on the other. And so but I end up not using it all. And I'm using this glue that I have that I'm trying to use that I hate because it's like so messy but it ends up gluing things down quite well so I mean for adhesiveness it's good just the way I think it's just the way the bottle's designed in here but even then with just getting the clouds on there I was getting excited and loving the way it was turning out so I'm gonna trim off the excess and I'm gonna mat it all down onto this gingham plaid color um or paper and that way I have it's almost like that color spilling inward, like in your mind, because it's outlined in that color. It's spilling inward into the clouds. And I just, I really like it. It, yeah. And look how shiny and shimmery that background is. So pretty. See, yeah, there's not a ton of warping. There's a little bit, but not, nothing crazy. Nothing, nothing too crazy. So I'm really loving this. I fell in love with this freebie cup file that we got this for this month, like right away. It struck my fancy. It's so, 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 so gorgeous. Um, you guys will have to join the Facebook group if you're not um, a part of it already. And make sure you get it downloaded. And, um, yeah, make sure you get it downloaded for sure. And use it. <laughs> use it, use it, use it. Uh, it is called the Floral Cloud. And, like I said, it's only free through the Facebook group. So you better go snatch it up. Um... So now I'm going through and so the prompt for today for this September prompt, not only am I using the sketch and I think I did a pretty good job of using the sketch is stickers. So I went through, yeah, this, um, one canoe two, and I found a couple of these stickers. There's only three of these florals left. So I'm going to tuck them around the photo and then I'm going to use a couple of the, I think they're like border stickers or like washi stickers. I'm going to to stick um, a pink scalp one next to my photo after I mat it. I matted it on the like corally paper and then the back side of that, which is actually what I attempted to cut the cut file in the first place. That yeah, it did. It get it got hung like some glue of some kind got hung up and like gummed up my my blade, and so then it got hung up. And um, I have my bottle of gesso just sitting on my photo, so it's way down. I did pop that up on foam. And so I'm going, I tucked those um, stickers in and now I'm going to go ahead and I went ahead to, 
I don't know if I showed you this. I actually fussy cut out a lot more of the white border on the florals that came in this collection. Um, the farm, summer farmhouse. I just, I didn't like how thick the white border was. So I one night spent the whole night and just fussy cut the white out off of them all. So I picked a few out, put them, tucked them in the clusters um, with the white cut files of the clouds and then also tucked in those little remnants of the pattern paper um, of the floral clusters cut into the opposite ends of my clouds as well opposite ends of where they are originally <laughs> if you did the full cut file tucking in some of those fun fussy cut flowers and then up on each um, on the upper right hand cloud and on the bottom left hand cloud then taking some stickers from the sticker book and just kind of layering them up um, kind of almost like washi tape I think they're like border stickers is what I was saying earlier and just creating little areas of clusters by layering a couple of those washi tapes up. I'm going to take some of the um, phrase or word stickers as well from the book and layer some of those up later too and some heart stickers. Um, but otherwise, mostly everything else is the ephemera and then these gold um, thickers that I will use um, right here that I'm using for the title. So I decided to grab the Hello Sunshine. I just really liked how it could nestle right there next to the photo. And then I grabbed some of the little star bursts slash little, they look like little mini suns. And I'm gonna tuck all those around in the clusters and just doing lots of fun tucking. <laughs> and so since I did all that like misting in the background, I'm not gonna add anything on top, but I am gonna go back in and take some um, chalk uh, matte white uh, nouveau drops and just add a bunch in all the floral clusters and then in the bottom left cluster and the upper right cluster and then I will journal right under the title just um, that she's trying on her flower girl dress for a wedding and then I will put the date maybe yeah I haven't put the date on there yet but I think I will add the date but that's it that's the gist of what I do so you're going to see me go through more of the um, sticker book and add those items and just kind of play and tuck. And I popped a few of the, um, I don't end up popping any of the florals on foam, I don't think. Mm -mm. All that stays flat, which is fine. I don't glue every last inch of everything down. So then it can all kind of lift if, as, it, as it wants. I did pop like a couple flowers here and there up on foam but not too many. So yeah, it, it just all came together. The color scheme at first, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But then I just pulled in those colors wherever I could. So everything kind of was cohesive and I really, really love the way this turned out. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Facebook group for Confessions of a Paper Addict and go check out the cut files on her Etsy shop or in her Etsy shop and as well as the class if you want that that cloud cut file and a bunch of amazing content on all about rainbow um, layouts. And then everybody who's playing with Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches down below as well. And then this is also kind of a how to kill a kit with style. But there's going to be Pretty much everybody's going to be linked down below anyway. So I'm just going to link down all the ones playing for Scrap Timer and all the confessions with paper information for you guys. So I'm just finishing with the Nouveau Drops now and that is it. So I appreciate you all. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all again and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>